Hey folks, welcome back to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're here right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are at 906 subscribers on our YouTube channel. 94 more to reach the magic number of 1,000. I never thought I would get there. Uh, very, very appreciative to everyone that has subscribed to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network YouTube channel. Glad you guys are enjoying the video and enjoying the content. 94 more subscribers. So if you could help me get there, that'd be absolutely fantastic. I would really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you again so much for subscribing to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network YouTube channel. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. I uh, just want to point out, uh, released an interview yesterday with Impact World Heavyweight Champion Moose. That is available on the YouTube channel right now. So check it out. My interview with the wrestling god, the Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion Moose is available now on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network YouTube channel. Okay, so... More details have been released uh, about uh, MLW's lawsuit against the WWE. Uh, PWInsider.com uh, is claiming that they've acquired a copy of the lawsuit filed by MLW on behalf of Major League Wrestling, MLW Media LLC on behalf of Major League Wrestling against World Wrestling Entertainment earlier yesterday. Uh, before the United States District Court, North District of California. It's a 19-page lawsuit, uh, again, filed by MLW, alleges intentional interference with contractual relations, intentional interference with prospective economic relations, a violation of the Sherman Antitrust Act, and more. Uh, MLW... MLW states that they are filing the lawsuit because the court, uh, before the court, because of the the efforts of professional wrestling company WWE to destroy the competitor MLW's business, uh, to destroy its competitor MLW's business and maintain its dominance of the U.S. broadcasting market for professional wrestling uh, by unlawfully interfering with MLW's access to media markets rest and wrestling talent. Uh, the lawsuit claims that since purchasing WCW in March 2001, the WWE has maintained control of 85% of the professional wrestling sphere, alleging that they, uh, that they are maintaining its dominance through unfair and anti-competitive business practices, including poaching talent, misappropriating co confidential information, interfering with competitors' contracts, and cutting off competitors' access to their viewer audience. So, um, it says uh, also states the lawsuit. Lawsuit states that. With the WWE's popularity declining over the last five years due to, among other things, inferior content, which I agree with 100%, um, the company has targeted MLW with unlawful predatory conduct, including airing without authority MLW wrestling footage, including ML wrestlers under exclusive contract with MLW to terminate those contracts and encouraging MLW wrestlers to breach their contracts with MLW by disclosing MLW's confidential and proprietary business information. Uh, MLW, MLW's lawsuit alleged two major examples of WWE unlawfully interfering with MLW's business that have damaged the value of Major League Wrestling as a company. The first is the 2B streaming deal MLW alleges in the lawsuit that WWE stepped in and caused the demise of a lucrative agreement with Fox-owned streaming service 2B TV, stating that 2B signed a deal with MLW in mid-2021 until the WWE allegedly stepped in. MLW lawsuit states that the agreement between 2B and MLW would have had a profound 
impact on MLW's business by giving it, giving it exposure to Fox's broadband television and NFL um, and NFL football audience, further positioning MLW for future media deals. But after the WWE found out about the agreement, and this is all alleged, okay, this is all alleged by um, MLW. So, okay, this is this is, again, this is what MLW is alleging. Um, the WWE, but after the WWE found out about the agreement, WWE contacted a 2B executive located in 2B headquarters in San Francisco and threatened that if 2B did not terminate the MLW contract, WWE would cease doing business with Fox and would pull all important WWE programs from Fox platforms soon thereafter and just days before MLW content was to begin airing on Tubi, the MLW contract was terminated, resulting in substantial losses to MLW and harm to consumers, including in California. Oh man, again, this is all this is all alleged by MLW, but I, I it, it, it kind of sounds well, it kind of sounds um, some, like something the WWE would do. But um, again, this is all this is all alleging. Um, so uh, the other is Vice TV. The other is Vice TV. There's a there's a whole, whole bunch of other things about Tubi TV, uh, but I'm not gonna. I I, I, uh, I gave you the gist of it. Uh, the second is uh, Vice TV. Uh, MLW lawsuit also states that they entered into an agreement with Vice TV in May of 2021. Uh, that saw Vice agree to the to air archival, the air I'm sorry to air footage, uh, old um, MLW underground episodes, and that uh, MLW and Vice have become engaged in negotiations to expand the agreement to include the broadcasting of new licensed programs. Uh, first of which would have been the October 2021 Fightland special, headlined by Hammerstone and Jacob Fatu. Instead. MLW alleges, remember they allege, they allege, remember that's an important word there, they allege uh, that the WWE caused the end of their negotiations with Vice citing when WWE found out about the MLW Vice agreement, the senior vice president, Susan Levinson called Vice. Uh, it's, I'm sorry, WWE Susan Vice, Senior Vice President Susan Levinson called Vice Executives to tell him, um, called a Vice Executive to tell him that WWE owner Vince McMahon, notorious for his aggressive business tactics, was pissed that Vice was airing MLW content and wanted Vice to stop doing so. The vice executive told Levinson that I think this is illegal what you're doing and that it probably it, that it was probably an antitrust violation to which Levinson responded that she could not control Vince McMahon. WWE had considerable leverage over Vice because professional wrestling was an important part of Vice's program and wrestling viewers were an important part of Vice's audience. Vice therefore needed the WWE as the overwhelming dominant wrestling company to ensure the success of Vice related programs, which included a series, Dark Side of the Ring, which often focused on WWE storylines based on input from the WWE. WWE's interference in Vice withdrawing from negotiations. Uh, WWE's interference resulted in Vice withdrawing negotiations over airing new MLW content and in Vice airing only a single MLW program. So I think that answers a lot of questions. People wondering, when are we going to see MLW back on Vice? Um, this basically answers the question. I don't think we're going to see them on Vice anymore. Um, based on the lawsuit, again, based on what MLW is alleging, this is this is what happened. Uh, the lawsuit also claims that prior to Vice and Tubi issues back in 2020, there were additional issues with MLW alleging uh, WWE attempted to poach MLW's talent in their footage of one of MLW's fighters without authorization or consent. WWE also allegedly attempted to induce MLW wrestlers to breach their contracts and reveal confidential and proprietary information about MLW's business. I think I've already stated that. Uh, MLW lawsuit states WWE pattern, WWE's pattern of predatory and exclusionary conduct 
has hampered competition in the U.S. wrestling market by depriving MLW and other competitors of distribution channels. And its conduct has harmed consumers by depriving them of content and keeping prices high. MLW claims that as a result of WWE's misconduct, MLW has suffered and will suffer monetary damages and irreplaceable irreparable harm resulting from, among other things, continued loss of brand recognition and valuable talent, posing a serious risk to its business and will be destroyed. Um, it sounds to me, it sounds to me that Court Bauer and the MLW and MLW Major League Wrestling have a fantastic case against the WWE. From what I'm reading here, they sounds like they have an absolutely tremendous case against the WWE. Um, MLW has requested a jury trial and is seeking the following from the court. Uh, I'm not going to read everything, but uh, the first one, um, a judgment in favor of MLW against WWE, obviously an award of actual damages and all damages that were a natural result of WWE's um, conduct in an amount to be calculated at trial, inclusive of any prejudgment or post-judgment interest accrued under the California Civil Code. So again, it sounds to me, uh, and there's a um, whole host of other things here, uh, but I, but again, I, I basically um, basically gave you the gist of it. Uh, again, sounds to me like MLW and Corp Power have a terrific case against the WWE, and we'll see how it uh, transpires. We'll see if uh, the WWE is going to try to settle out of court. Um, but uh, I don't know, Corp Power taking on the WWE, uh, you got to hand it to them. These, these, I think enough is enough. Enough is enough. Um, and I, again, I was wondering, uh, remember re hearing about the streaming deal? I remember hearing about, uh, you know, uh, obviously, uh, most recently, uh, Vice TV. I was wondering what was going on. How come we're not seeing them on Vice TV? Uh, but now we know, and um, it's all going to be settled in court. And once again, sounds like Court Bauer and MLW have a terrific case against the WWE. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that for now. Uh, I'll be back later today uh, with some more stuff. But until then, thank you very much. Uh, and please check out the Moose interview. It was a fantastic interview. You get a lot of positive feedback. Positive feedback on the Moose interview. Uh, Impact Wrestling World Champion Moose um, joined me, uh, getting a lot of positive feedback. So make sure you check that out. Uh, but until I'm back later today, thank you very much for joining me. Take care. Bye bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye bye.